How's everybody doing? Smoking cigars, but Howlin' Blind. Howlin' Blind, Muddy Slim. Your 60-minute Jelly Belly Chill Jam man here to learn y'all some blues. I say that always to respect and tribute. It's not a rip-off, Gary. It's a tribute, like your Bob and Ray. It's a tribute to Mr. Gary Burbank, my hero. I went ahead and clipped, and already got it started to save a little bit of time. Well, hey, de Monterey, 1066 Dark Knight. Great cigar. Today is November the 11th. Today is Veterans Day. Now, we're not talking about the, the good people who take care of our animals. We're talking about veterans. Men and women who have served in the military for our country. And first and foremost, I want to say thank you to every service person in this country who has served, survived, and also those who have lost their lives in battle are in service for this country. Take a moment of silence. First off, I want to say that I am anti-war. So you might think, whoa, he's going to rip on the military. No, I'm not. I am anti-war because I think war is a bad thing. It's an ugly thing. And I used to think a necessity. War is a last result, res resort. War is a last resort. Let me explain. Let's say I'm sitting at home, I'm doing nothing, I'm having a good time, I'm smoking my cigars, I'm making a video, I'm playing guitar, and I might have a, the grill going outside with some hot, hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff on it. And let's say the guy across the street doesn't have that. Let's say he thinks because of me having what I have, I am depriving him of something he has. Or let's just say he's just a, a, a bad guy or good. And he starts yelling across the pond, you infidel, you have more than what you need. God didn't give you that. You took that from someone else, which I didn't. And God didn't give it to me. God allowed me the ability to go out and accomplish things and um, work, have a job. Therefore, I can, I can eat. But let's say this guy yells across the street and I say, look, man, you're welcome to come over and partake of my goods. I don't want to fight this man. But let's say he decides not only am I going to come over and help partake of your goods, I'm going to kill you and take your goods home with me to share with my family. That's when this peace-loving, anti-war, violence-hating blues man takes action. And that is what our military should do. We are, and I just watched a, a really, really good video that explained it. You know, our, our military takes an oath to defend our Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic. 
if our Constitution is being challenged and our freedom is being challenged, our Congress makes a, I forget what it's called, I think it's a declaration or a commitment to war. Not like what we're in right now. Not what George Bush did and not what Barack Obama is continuing. My dad is was a veteran of the Second World War. He went all over the world. He, he, uh, he told me, he very rarely talked about it, but he told me some of it about being in uh, England or... Uh, some other countries I think he fought, fought in. And my cousin was a veteran of the Vietnam War. Now let me tell you a story. I'll get there in a minute. Let's see how much time I've got. I think I'm all right. Yeah, I'm at six minutes. These people that, that claim they hate us, why do they hate us? Let's, let's say, for instance, what happened on 9-11 in 2001 was the result of what our government is telling us, that it was these uh, fundamentalist uh, Islamic Muslims you know, the wild idiot ones, not the good ones that live in this country and partake of the American way of life every day, but the wild, stupid, idiot ones. And there's wild, stupid, idiot, religious zealots in every religion, folks. And then there's some that are decent, wholesome people whom I have no problem with whatsoever. And when my grill is on fire, I invite any of them to come over and help eat. I don't care. But let's say what really happened on 9-11 was exactly what the government's telling us. These wild, crazy, zealot, uh, Islamic Muslims just thought we were total infidels and decided to take what we have away from us. Why do they hate us? Well, in most cases, I agree with Ron Paul. It's because we're over there trying to run their lives in their country for them. And they're getting pissed off. It's just like, you know, I'm over here. Let's say my neighbor came over here and tried to run my household for me. So he said, Howlin' Blind, let me show you how to pay your bills. Let me show you how to cut the grass. Let me show you how to clean your house. Let me show you how to smoke your cigars. Let me show you. I'm going to get fed up with that guy, and I'm going to knock him out. But he can yell all he wants from across the road. And I'm not going to, you know, it's going to aggravate me, but I'm not going to go over and fight him. Not until he comes on my soil. And our soldiers are on foreign soil for the wrong reasons. Now, I'm not faulting these soldiers. They're following orders. The fault lies in the chief, the commander of the military. Let me take a short break. Be right back with part two and a continuation and the conclusion to Happy Veterans Day 2009.